procedures of feet. So, ocean plant, what is the uh, characteristics of ocean plant? And then we go on to design procedure of ocean plant and project activities. And other part will be covered by so no, he'll be. Right. So this is a uh, features or characteristics of ocean plant. They are comparing, comparing to the ships. Ocean plant and ship is different, similar and different, right? Inside, inside, inside the shipyard, there is a big two division. One for shipbuilding, another for ocean plant. Sometimes there is another separate unit for naval vessel construction. Inside Hyundai Heavy, there are more other departments for another division for uh, engine uh, manufacturing, and another for uh, what is it? Construction devices, vehicles, and more. Some, there is another one for uh, electrical devices, something like uh, tran electricity transformer, transformer or other uh, condensers. But only for ship and ocean plant engineering, there are two big divisions, shipbuilding and ocean plant. Inside the Samsung Heavy, ocean plant division is bigger than shipbuilding. So that nowadays they merge that two divisions into one big organization. Inside uh, Hyundai shipyard, the division are separate because uh, business size is almost same. And also the location of ocean plant construction is different. We, uh, some of Koreans know that Mipo Joseon, Mipo site is for ocean plant engineering. Uh, uh, or what is the exact name? The original shipyard is for shipbuilding. But sometimes it's a mixture. But inside uh, Daewoo and Samsung, they are mixing together. But there are, there are different uh, dry docks, several dry docks inside the one shipyard because they are big say seven or eight dry docks are located inside one site so that they divide into uh, uh, what is it? dry dock by dry dock. So yesterday there has been a accident in Samsung Heavy. Seven people died right? because of two cranes are crashed together. One is a big uh, gantry crane. We call it a Goliath crane. The other one is uh, less smaller, but still big, jeep crane, jeep, you, or tra traditional crane, right? jeep crane. They collide each other, so the jeep crane is collapsed down into, but the, unfortunately, the position was the rest area for workers. That's why the many people died. Anyway, so that, dry dock of crane and accident was for ocean plant construction. But anyway, Samsung Heavy is mostly now ocean plant business. Is 70% or more is ocean plant business. So comparing, compared to the shipbuilding and ocean plant, ship is moving all around the world, right? Port by port. But comparably, ocean plant is located one place for a long time, several years, until the, the op, uh, work is finished. And it is unique. Every plant is unique. Say that uh, for, say, one site for operation, you see that that site produce different chemicals. Each location of production of exploration the chemicals coming from the earth is different for each site. The composition, right? Composition. Size and composition is different. So that you need to process different chemicals. Similar but different, right? And size is different. 
Water depth is different. Wave frequency, wave uh, uh, scale is different. Wind, wind blowing is different because it's different site, right? So that each plant has their own design or construction. But shipbuilding, say, container ships, they can use similar ships or almost the same ships because they are, say, regular, regular frequent uh, servicing to, say, between uh, Los Angeles and Busan port or Shanghai port. They have a regular uh, business. Similar to airplane, the regular uh, scheduled flight, right? Scheduled flight. Same as container ships, scheduled routing. So that they can probably then maybe easier to use uh, same ship, same size ship, same operational ship. So that they can probably order and construct a series of same ship. So unique, unique is, is very special. And safety is critical. Still, still, ship is safety critical than uh, truck or bus. Why? Because if you, something is happening in the middle of uh, Pacific Ocean, you cannot telephone to get help from the far away, right? If you are working with a bus or truck, something happening, you can call inside Korea 10 minutes enough to come coming some emergency helpers, right? So that you need to make ship is not breaking inside uh, um, in the middle of Pacific Ocean. So that reliability level of engine or equipment or important equipment should be much higher, much higher than land-based equipment. And comparing to uh, ship and ocean plant, the level, safety level is much higher for ocean plant. We'll see why. But anyway, safety is much higher. So that same, the, the domestic equipment suppliers who is good for supplying equipment for shipbuilding for a long time, Korean equipment suppliers, they cannot provide e similar equipment for the ocean plant because of that level of quality and safety, reliability level is different. You can think about another industry, something like a nuclear industry. They, they are also much higher than ocean plants. So there is the same pump which produce, which it, uh, move uh, some fluent for some capacity, some pressure, some temperature, almost similar, but the same specification pump can be different for nuclear power plant, for the ocean plant, for shipbuilding, for land-based industry because of the reliability and safety level. Independent operation for a long time, say several months, right? far away from the land, and bearing operating condition, wind is blowing, and wave is coming, current is, and weather is changing for seasonal, and construction and engineering and design and fabrication, concurrent engineering is also because of the time limitation. So once again, the same again, fixed, unique, safety critical, independent, bearing condition, concurrent uh, engineering, so that repeated design is not allowed. Uh, repeated design. For the car, for the smartphone, you can use many of the previous design uh, for the new cars. Small changes, small facial changes can produce another Risk-based design for safety critical. And that's why it's the business, whole business is similar to research and development. Every time is new, right? So research and development. Life cycle experience for service system. 
can start from bottom concept screening so you can think about concept car concept car concept car is, is not for construction manufacturing it is only for showing right concept car in, in car sh show motor show motor show you can see many concept car for the future car right there is only for concept so many fantastic cars are displayed there right but a few of them are becoming a real car in the future two years three years later right? that we can say concept screen feed is front-end engineering and design that is just before the contract so contract should be somewhere here contract between uh, say for the ocean plant that is usually oil major or in a shell or BP or they have a construction contract with a shipbuilding company such as Samsung Heavy so there's a contract here in after contract then ship builders the so Samsung is in charge of detail design and procurement of uh, plate and equipment and other things right? and project management services project management service. and final construction and installation of equipment for uh, uh, procurement then delivery is coming here delivery after construction and delivery after delivery there is operation and maintenance and management and finally decommission that is a usual schedule or procedure this is very similar procedure but that it is only for one equipment say pump manufacturers or boiler manufacturers or engine manufacturers for that factory this item is the final product right and still the company is big to make a engine right to make a pump so that is a procedure for that equipment supplier so very similar design procurement manufacturing and then shipping right? delivery very similar but that delivery goes to the Samsung heavy Samsung heavy and at the installation site they sh the engineer coming from uh, gas turbine or pump should be stay together work together to make sure whether there is a something wrong and this is done by a uh, shipbuilding company and for the inspection usually done by shipbuilding company the the owner but also the equipment supplier some and few engineers should be stay there and final hand over to whole ocean plant to the owner that is a uh, front-end engineering or loading project development phases there is a they are saying gate or gate and level one or loading say they are say fel is a front end loading front end loading and then they are saying pre pre feed or feed we we are trying to say a feed and after feed should there can be a, a contract signing right? contract signing but before feed there is a previous stages pre-feed and concept screening or planning phase that can be a very smaller shorter cycle of work inside the oil company inside the oil company probably so this one is usually done by a big uh, engineering company something like uh, samsung en engineering yesterday this morning i showed you or last thursday Samsung engine this morning this morning Samsung engineering I showed you one one why is it one spec one code one something or oh, technique is another much, uh, much bigger than Samsung engineering world famous uh, ocean plant engineering company based on uh, friends usually that kind of work is done by that uh, engineering company separate sometimes they do separate contract for also for prefit smaller product but usually these two are done by oil major company because they also have a big group of engineers inside shell has a big 
group. Right? Objective and contents and deliverables are very similar, very similar, each stage. So they are doing similar work again and again, but the, the detail and size is increasing. Right? At the beginning, probably one person can do very simple planning operation and then increasing the number of people involved. So our objective is uh, drawing, right? Drawing. Contents can be, and then you see that, oh, this is done by com company means the oil, oil major, Shell, right? This, it, here and there are saying the separate contract like a Technip or Samsung Engineering do pre-feed or feed. And the deliverables, they contain error bound of smaller error bound than before. Still, this is very big. I guess this is too big for contract signing. The amount of contract is several billions of dollars for ocean plants. Several billions of dollars. And then 10% of error is too big for company to maintain, right? So they should have less, less. But still there is a error bound, right? You cannot make a correct answer at the beginning, before the construction. So that is the one of the reasons why Korean shipyards are, uh, are losing money nowadays. There is complication, but anyway, it should be more correct. And then material requisition, material means uh, steel plate, also pipe, and, and also equipment. And long lead item, long lead item, something like a drill tower behind the ship, drill ship uh, from Samsung Heavy. Drill ship, there is a tower, right? Tower and drill tower. That drill tower is produced by two or three company all over the world, Norway some, and nearby. Right? So they are a kind of superpower in terms of contract, right? Sometimes whole schedule is de delayed because of the drill tower is not coming at the uh, correct schedule. Right? So we call this kind of thing as a long lead item. Or sometimes it can be an engine of the ship, engine of the ship, because it, to create, to construct, to manufacture a big engine, size of this room, it takes years, right? can be year, ten, 10 months to construct big engine. So then you need to have a earlier schedule for contract. We call this kind of as lonely diet. So scheduling, scheduling important. Say you can think about constructing a house or building. Right? What can be the lonely item for this? Ship design spiral. So we are doing the same things again and again, starting from uh, conceptual stage to pre-feed and feed and final detail design. The same thing, structure, propulsion. This is for shipbuilding. Ship, electrical outfitting is done by the enemy. But more and more uh, detailed and correct and less bound of errors. And finally arrive at descent. Same, this is for shipbuilding, not for ocean plant, but similar things going on. Why? Because it is a closed system. Say you can think about airplane, airplane. Somehow you find that the airplane, the structure uh, strength of this wing, one of the wing root is not enough. Then you should increase the thickness of the plate, still uh, aluminum, dual aluminum plate to make more stronger wing, right? And then what happened? The weight of the airplane is increased because of thickness increase, right? Then, because of weight increase, you should have more <laughs> bigger, a little bit bigger uh, wing size, right? Then it, it also increased weight. 
then you need to have more sequence. And then it comes to the speed of the airplane. You need to have a bigger size of gas turbine. That again increase weight again, right? So it's a coming, coming dependency between components, right? Dependency between components of weight and uh, structures, equipment, powering, speed, all together. It is because it is closed system. Closedness is a uh, percentage can be. Right? This building is also a kind of closed system somehow, but still there is a connection to outside. Electrical connection, water line connection, sewage connection, but in say space shuttle, the closedness is much higher than ship. Okay. Air is not flowing. That's why we need to have such a spiral iteration of designs. This is coming from Aust Australia. Australia. Society for Underwater Technology Australia Press Branch. And they are saying the influence is higher in early stage of design. This is timeline, timeline. Pre-feed, feed, detail design, contract design here between feed and detail design. Construction, commissioning and operation, and maintenance and operation. And then the influence of design or influence of change is decreasing very stiffly during the contract signing stage. But actual mo cost is involved, used money. You pay money for construction and uh, procurement size is increasing. So design is very important for this stage, early stage. Of right. And once again, very similar phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. I don't know whether contract signing, but they, they just show, show that in early stage, early stage, if you have a good value designing, and then after some periods of say contract signing, I don't know whether this is trying to improve or optimize, that is small changes. Right? But if you have a bad uh, initial design, you try to optimize or increase the value, we cannot arrive in this way. Right? So early stage of it is very important. So front-end loading, front-end loading is more and more, more important. This can opportunity also. Risk means a schedule risk and a cost is schedule and other functional schedule or performance schedule risk. So front-end loading, same, same picture, enlarged one, but value should be very safeguarded in the early stage. Good, good project definition in early stage, poor project definition in early stage, you cannot, you cannot arrive at different positioning there. Right. Con conceptual engineering, uh, DG is a gate something, design gate, and pre-DG gate, probably defining uh, DG form, maybe contract signing. So they should identify and access and select. These are our uh, designing process. You have uh, some kind of project engineering code of practice. There is a book you can find from the website. You can download whole code of practice book. So if you see more details on this, this booklet. And basis for design, there is a, a, a bottom line or, or uh, preconditions or, or background materials or other uh, uh, 
provided uh, conditions are basis for designs. So every project, all projects should have a, a basis for design. And using that one, you can start your design. And I'm going to explain all the details. This is a final slide for me today. So front-end engineering is coming in this uh, gate three somewhere. So after that, we will have a contract signing uh, around here. So execution may be the construction, construction, definition, and this is conceptual ident uh, identification of uh, requirement requirement assessment and select of options and anyway contract sign here All right, so after that delivery is operation of something uh, question no then the bill is coming Uh, here's a diagram of process and we can get the design basis from client first like functional requirements or some specification and design codes and then based on those design basis we can go through the engineering step and during the engineering we have to give some information about our process to client and then get some improvements or comments and maybe we can reflect their feedback to satisfy clients more and we also have to communicate with vendors because uh, we have to use the equipment or maybe we have to require something and give, give money to them and here is documents for construction and purchase and when we require what we need to vendors we have to give some bill or we have to let them know the specifications uh, it's almost same diagram so here's uh, about cost estimate departments they communicate with vendors and subcontractors tractors with the bill of materials and specifications if we if we require something to vendors or subcontractors like making some components or assembly some specific parts then vendors and subcontractors give us the quotations quotations uh, here it's about concurrent execution. In the past, it was sequential execution, so it was the progress was all series. So to go to the next step, we have to finish the previous step. So here we have to finish engineering process to go through the procurement, and then after procurement, we can go to the construction. But nowadays, it's more concurrent execution. Uh, it's more parallel than sequential execution and there's some overlap periods between engineering procurement and construction so the time can be reduced uh, but here's some challenges in concurrent execution first getting the design input early and avoiding changes and reworks and integrating the engineering procurement and construction Data consistency, configuration management, and engineering change management also important issue. Uh, the first challenge is about getting the design input early. Uh, engineering is the integrator of the plant equipment and is highly dependent on vendor data. So we, in the diagram, we simulate First, and then from the results of simulation, we can know what equipment we need, and then we can list the, those equipment, and then acquire equipment and choose what we're gonna really use. 
and what is the best option and then vendor process then foundation drawings so to choose the equipment we have to know what equipment vendors have and what their functions and costs and other many things so we have to always communicate with the vendors uh, engineering must be right first time which requires experience good coordination between disciplines and anticipation uh, so in diagram we wanna we wanna uh, make the some safe field and to do that we first we have to estimate the number size and support and loads and many other specifications so if we if we fail to estimate this at the first time then the cost and time will be will be critical and the time will be delayed and the cost will be additional cost will be much more than correct at the first time and uh, estimate at the first estimate correctly at the first time to do that the simulation process really is really helpful because uh, we cannot practice several times in real engineering but we can simulate several times without additional cost so we can use the simulation to estimate the specifications correctly at the first time uh, the second challenge was avoiding changes here's some sources of changes uh, inherited and open technical issues and design developments and reviews clients new requirements and third party at the interface uh, some of these are avoidable but some of are not so we have to resist at least resist to avoidable changes to stick to the contract <coughs> and impact of changes is exponential with time so if we want to change something at almost final step then maybe the impacts will not be affordable and we cannot stick to the contract anymore and maybe we cannot safeguard the value we create at the early phase uh, <coughs> uh, we need to we need interface management and some system to identify all impacts and track implementation of changes to manage the design change Uh, control or control your suppliers and subcontractors so stick to the contract and make the products well we have to always control our suppliers and subcontractors you get what you inspect not what you expect so I mean it shows the importance of in inspect so to get what we expect we have to inspect frequently and well um, to do that we have to know our suppliers work process and steps and implement tight follow-up and expediting and access our supplier system uh, to get good quality and delivery of suppliers we have to inspect our suppliers and some contractors uh, here's projects organization diagram uh, it the uh, it divide the whole project into major big four parts: engineering manage parts, procure manage parts, site manage parts, and project control manage parts. In the engineering manage parts, we need project engineers and discipline engineers for its parts like process parts and civil instrumentation, electrical or equipment parts, and procurement manage parts. We need purchasers, expeditors, and inspectors. And we have to also manage the construction sites for site managed parts. And we have to manage contracts, schedule, and costs for the project control managed parts. So, uh, head of its parts 
manage their own parts and the project manager manage the whole process of the project. Here's process workflow diagram. Uh, process workflow include the most steps of design and basis, basic design and those basic design directly directly influence on the detailed design process. So correct execution based on right understanding of process workflow is really important. And here's PFG process flow diagram. Uh, it's it's a diagram that shows the process flow and major equipment control scheme, mass and heat balance, and operating temperature and pressure. Then here's equipment data sheets. Uh, th this sheet shows the minimum requirements of each machines on the process. Uh, here's PNID. PNID is piping and instruments di in diagram, and it shows it is a detailed diagram about piping and vessels, with the also with the instruments and control devices. Uh, here's utility flow diagram sh includes both concept of PFD and PNID, and it's about utility system. And safety process data shows what machines can generate some dangerous substances and the properties of its substance like ignition temperature. Uh, piping process data shows the operating and design temperature and pressure of each fluid that flows in the pipe and the materials of pipe. And instrument process data is about control valve, safety valve, and the process condition of manometer, thermometer, level gates, and flow meter. Uh, line schedule shows the process condition of each line. So here, here's the whole process workflow diagram, and it it starts from the process. It starts from the P and I D, and it influences the detailed design process. Uh, it has almost same flow. Here's P F D and P and I D, and based on process data sheet, we can specify the equipment like rotating and pressure vessels, fired equipment, and some other things, what we need. And then vendor drawing, and then we can go through the next steps. Uh, we already saw this diagram in the previous slides. Um, it's about procedure of topside engineering. Um, it's, it looks quite complex, but uh, it's just a summary of what we already mentioned. Uh, first, we start from the design basis, and then simulate uh, by the simulation process. We can estimate the size or other specifications at the first time, cor correctly at the first time. Based on the result of simulation, we can sizing the equipment and get some other specifications. And based on vendor data input and some specification that we get from the simulation we can make the data sh we can get the data sheet and sheet and the and list the equipment what we are going to use and choose the best one and here's PNID and safety design and control scheme line sizing uh Interacting and flow of this all small process, we can get the final product, final step of the top side of the ocean plant. So um, here's a, here's a video about why we need concurrent engineering rather than sequential engineering. Uh, the advantage of concurrent engineering and at the past times, we do some sequential engineering, 
like survey the survey from clients first and then design departments and after that we can go through the manufacturing and other other steps it was but it has some limitations like time consuming complex and costly and design may not be accepted because we cannot get the feedback as really fastly and repetition of the entire process till the design is accepted so to solve these limitations we are more go to the concurrent engineering concurrent engineering is different from sequential engineering because we can we can interact its its steps so we can get feedbacks directly and so that we can reduce the time spent so yeah. thank you this is discussion time and I'm Simoka uh, my first topic is that I want to know your opinion about the feasibility of the wind energy system considering these things like cost for construction and energy production and environment and durability or cost for maintenance uh, there is some background data for the wind energy wind power equipment uh, in 2015 the wind energy, wind energy share of the whole energy production is 4% and specific cost is very high as 1,500 euro, euro per kilowatt and, and there is other effects for employment, employment jobs increase and annual CO2 saving yes and this LCOE is the total cost concluding the carbon price and shield to transport and sequestration cost and other fuel cost and economic escalation factors and the first one the cheapest one is the gas turbine and the fourth fifth one is wind onshore and this one is wind, wind power offshore so, what do you think about the feasibility of the wind energy system? And there is one another video clip for explaining the wind turbine effect. The wind turbine produces a lot of noise and uh, vibration. So, there is an environmental aspect on the wind turbines. And so, considering this aspects what do you think about the feasibility of the wind energy system Cheaper than it might work. Maybe we spend, whether a company spends 
billions of dollars on the offshore platforms for oil, so why not spend some money on a wind turbine? So, you were, so the, the yeah. wind turbines on land in the Netherlands, we have a shitload of them, and people don't really complain, right? Mm. Maybe you know, we don't have that much space, so <laughs> I'm sure there is some way that also the turbines on the land are getting uh, silent. And mm. so, so I think there's a future to be. So you're saying that we should keep working on the wind turbines, right? You should, yeah. We need more investigation and we should work about it, but, yes. And maybe a better way to store mm. the energy. Because mm. I believe Germany has spent billions of dollars in the green energy. Yeah. And that's the reason that all the countries around Germany get free energy. <laughs> and it's uh, sunny and Actually, the, when we install the offshore wind energy system, then the fishes and the ocean creatures are disappears around there, and there's also problems. So we need to work on the about the noise of the ocean turbines. Yes, the cost cost study or the economic study for investigate investigate for the wind turbines, there should be the wind wind current or analysis about the wind <coughs> because they the wind makes the energy with the wind turbine so. Wind is also important, right?
Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, in environmental aspects, there is the carbon free energy production, and this wind energy system don't use the water for cooling, so it is also the advantage of the wind energy system. But we need to increase the efficiency and the production cost because the <coughs> cost for the construction, the wind turbine and the energy uses for construction for the wind energy system is larger than the wind the energy can be produced from one wind energy system so we should increase the efficiency in current time so we can go to the next topic this is for this was around today of the from the from sequential to concurrent execution of the ocean plant production and from the past the sequential execution became more concurrent execution and there uh, what are the opportunities and risk from the concurrent execution for each place or what do we need for successful concurrent execution? This is my question and Okay, thank you. Right, the time is ah uh, right. You can. <laughs> Light bulbs are ah, right. Yeah, when, when Philips uh, built uh, the light bulbs for consumers, mm -hmm. they had uh, some some sort of the thousand hours club, okay. which just meant that they built the light bulb so yeah. they could last one thousand hours and then would break down. Because if they would uh, work more hours, then they would sell less light bulbs. Mm -hmm. um, and sure. that's the sequential that was in the sequential um, contract.
platform. So they they build it, they sold it, and it's out of their vision. Mm -hmm. And these days, uh, buildings and, um, are, are more and more going to the uh, the concurrent contract form, which the the builder also has the the maintenance and the right. the yeah, what do you call it? The, yeah, you just say I want I want lights and I want them for 20 years. I pay you per month. Mm. So that change suddenly made that Philips built the, the light bulbs which not lasted for thousands, but 10,000 or 100,000 hours because they had the knowledge to make them more qualitative, but they just didn't have, didn't want to because it was more money. So I think it's, it could be comparable here that, I mean, a ship you buy for a long term, but if you build it and also do the maintenance, you, you already think when you build it, uh, I have to do the maintenance in the com coming 20 years, so maybe I should design it in another way so the maintenance is cheaper for me. Yeah, sure. And that's, that's what I found to it, I think. We talked about the advantage about the time and the quality, but is there someone who can tell about the risk for risk of the concurrent execution? We're talking about the planning and the uh, or the experience used for planning. Mm -hmm. right. point and thank you. Front engineering is something like a, a parallel computing. Parallel computing. Parallel computing is work is done by parallel way. Work is divided into <coughs> several processes. Big work is going into dividing processes. Processor or CPU, CPU, different CPUs, CPU, CPU one, CPU two, CPU three, CPU four, and then finally you come back to make out the output of each process. So concurrent engineering is something like this: parallel computing, parallel processing. For for what? For reduced time, reduced time. Mm -hmm. 
So this one, engineering department, structural department, construction de department, separate division. A specialist, separate CPU for computing. Okay. But they want to make it working parallel, in parallel. But it is not possible in engineering. But somehow, somehow, they start their work before the end, end of the previous department. In old days, they do in a sequential way. After finishing up designing, they start procurement after the design finish. Okay. But nowadays, they want to reduce time, time to market. So they start earlier, earlier than finish up of previous work. That is the idea of concurrent engineering, to reduce time. Reduce time. Okay. And then what happened? If this is designing, if they change something at the, toward the end of the schedule, but something is already ordered, or equipment ordered, but they change, so mismatch can happen. So communication is most important than before. Frequent communication. If there are small changes, immediate release of information. Information sharing is important. In that case, you need to have a, a common database, common database among all members of the company. Similarly, here you have a different algorithm and very small pieces. Now, this one, this slide is for. Uh, you can say this can be. Reduce the time schedule by engineering is co coming earlier than end of schedule. Procurement is the collapsed, overlap each other. That is the idea of concurrent engineering. To reduce time, you should be overlapping activities. But this one is trying to explain about the contract, the responsibility of the contract. Responsibility. In old days, Different company, engineering company, procurement company, construction company, a separate contract in old days. Say Samsung Heavy. Samsung Heavy has been working only for construction for many, many cases. But nowadays, the, the, the situation is changing. So contract is more lump sum case, lump sum contract. Big responsibility. Big money, big money contract. So Samsung is having a turnkey based contract, turnkey based contract, big contract. There is a more higher chance of more profit, but at the same time, more chance of risk, losing money, because of bigger contract more responsibility, more chance, high risk, high return. Okay. Business is be becoming industry. That's why I have another slide. 